Hey everyone, it's about uh, 3.47 in the afternoon on Wednesday and I'm about to review Lego Star Wars at 9492, the TIE Fighter. But before that, I wanted to address some things on my channel and get some uh, things out there. Uh, uh, one of the things being is a thank you to my subscribers. Go up here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, currently, I have 385 subscribers. Now, um, that could change, you know, give or take, you know, YouTube is. Um, it could go less, it could go more. But for right now, I don't, I won't, I don't want to say like I'm solid at it because it could change. But right now, I'm at 385, and I'm absolutely um, delighted with that number. I've worked very hard on YouTube. I've got a lot of videos out. I probably have like over near 150 if not more. So I can't thank each and every one of you enough for subscribing to me, um, finding my videos out there, and deciding to click the subscribe button. So thank you. I know there's a lot of Lego choices and lot Lego options when watching videos, so the fact that you chosen to subscribe to me, um, which really is a nice thing and makes all my hard work towards my videos worth it to me. Okay, now that that said, I have some well-deserved shout-outs and uh, mentions I want to go over on my channel. So I'm scroll down to my featured area. And I have them under YouTube Phenoms because these channels are phenomenal. And if by chance you are subscribed to me and not subscribed to any of these people listed that I'm going to go through, please go subscribe to them. And, okay. First being Lego Show Reviews. This is one of the most unique shows offered for Lego on YouTube right now. These are two sisters named... Yeah. Nicole and Claire, they do uh, an array of Lego videos, including reviews, um, hauls, uh, brick films, um, contests, just fun videos, uh, like up here they went, uh, saw episode one, just very uh interested in Lego sisters it is a rare thing you know it and I know it. it's rare they're unique if you are not subscribed to this channel you are missing out in Lego community they are bringing an uh, edge to it which has not been done prior meaning the two sisters I know there's been girls but the two sisters is different So they are unique and they are clever and witty. So everyone please subscribe to Lego Show Reviews. You will not regret it. Up next is Night Shadow Films. Oops. We have Night Shadow Films. He has amazing uh, brick film skill. I was just uh, impressed with the imagination this person puts towards their um, films. The ideas they come up with are excellent. I mean, when I try to think of an idea to make a movie, a brick film, I kind of get stumped at trying to think of something funny and basically I can't but this person I'm I'm telling you if you have not seen Don't Mess With Robin a Lego partner in the in the case of the uh, is it a hot coffee and unwanted comp company and the holiday special you're missing out and this is also done well this sleepy uh, sleepyhead minifigure minifilm 
Um, and they are running auditions for the Batman show they're doing. So yes, this is uh, this is Night Shadow Films. Please subscribe to them for excellent brick films. If you're not already, you won't regret it. Okay. Next on the list is the Brick Boy 101. See his channel here. Never stop building. You tend to come up with a more better slogan than that. And here's his very nice introduction. <laughs> that's cool. Anyways, that's his new uh, featured video there. You did not know that. Um, this is an epic Lego channel. Uh, he's, I think, taking the community by storm. You can say... Uh, just amazing videos. He does vlog style. Uh, amazing reviews are done in clarity um, and a light way, like he says. It's done uh, good. Shows a lot of the detail of all the sets. Everything you want to see, you get to see. And that goes with everyone in the list that's doing reviews on my featured channels. They all are filming in really good clarity using, you know good cameras and you can see everything you know really well everything's got nice production value on it in the feature channels so yeah that's a good thing about all these channels if you subscribe you'll get in you're getting quality videos and his his goal is to review more most of the 2012 sets that come out and that's a good thing. So if you want to see a lot of the uh, 2012 sets, um, go ahead and s subscribe to the Brick Boy 101. Um, I know I'm going to go for a lot of the sets that are coming out this summer. I'll see how it can resist some of the Lord of the Rings and all that. Um, I'm very excited for that. For well-rounded, for well-rounded reviews done in a light, informative way. Subscribe to the Brick Boy 101. And he has a very good slogan Never Stop Building. Next, we have The Brick Central. And they also have a very cool avatar thing and intro. Done very well. Hey guys, what's going on? Josh here from the. If you are not already subscribed to the Brick Central's channel, formerly known as Lego Talk One Two Three, um, please subscribe to them. Uh, if you're subscribed to me, so um, they're um, not a new channel. They're a channel that's moved to another. Uh, their channel that's moved, their group that's moved to another channel name. They uh, had some problems with their other channel, but anyway, on to this this channel, the Brick Central. It's everything brick in one place. Um, so you know they're still getting videos on here, and what's on here is crystal clear, crystal clear quality, and. Um, very detailed. Right now you see some spinner set reviews. Just got on the starter set review uh, apparently a couple hours ago today. So I'm sure there's many videos coming your way on this channel if you're subscribed to me. Please subscribe to the Brick Central. They are three uh, people um, that create this channel and I think they are unique in that and they bring they work well together and their videos show it so really can't say much of, more about them much more good things about them uh, 
haven't got a ch chance to really talk to them much, but hopefully we can become better YouTube friends in the future. And yeah, so please subscribe to The Brick Central. And next on my featured list is Lego Cordex. And well, I'd like to give you guys a shout out also. And they got most of the 2012 Star Wars sets on early. That's what I do know. Right here you see an interview between the Brick Boy 101 and Lego Cordex. And they do a lot of updates. And they're real personable guys. They, um... Uh, they like to update you a lot and do like vlog style deals and their reviews are done in very good quality and shown you excellent detail. They even have some like vintage sets as you see there. Um, they're a very unique channel and um, uh, they're different in the LEGO community. Yes, two guys make this channel up they work very well together um, they both bring a certain edge to the mix where they uh, come across as personable knowledgeable about the Lego sets and I don't know they just draw you in and just make you want to subscribe to their channel so please if you're not subscribed to the Lego Cordex yet you're missing out go subscribe to the Lego Cordex um, please um, these people are doing great on YouTube and they're making quality Lego videos and I think they deserve to be seen more than they are so please subscribe to them and that goes for everyone in my list so so that just about does it um I'm wondering if I have anything else to address on my channel. I do, um, I guess I do want to kind of make an apology of, of getting kind of smart with some it, uh, comments the other day. I should be putting, if sorry if this offends any else, anyone else besides, you know, who I'm replying to. My apologies because I guess sometimes what I can say can be considered a little brash. Um, but honestly, I don't put an edge on my response if there isn't one already sent to me. So most I just ignore and throw away and block. But I guess some I do reply to, which is not going to happen anymore. So if you're someone who noticed it, something like that I do apologize and um, please forgive me alright on to other things let me get to the review and thanks for letting me shout out the Lego show reviews uh, the Brick Boy 101 the Lego Cordex um, the Brick Central and I think I'm missing one here yeah Night Shadow Films Please subscribe to them, guys. Those are my shoutouts. On to my review. Hi, guys. I'm here with the Lego Star Wars set number 9492 TIE Fighter. And here is the box. And it's ages 8 to 14, set number 9492, the TIE Fighter, and it's 413 pieces. Now, this is a shinier box than some of them. And you get four minifigures, two of which are brand new. And on the back, you see the cockpit and you see the flick fire missiles and different angles of the Death Star, uh, different angles of the TIE Fighter. Alright, so that's the box. And you get one manual, and it's very short because at first you construct the middle, then you do each uh, panel here for the wing, and 
and then you're done. So it's a short build. The back, nice shots of it there. The cockpit open. Here's a little comic. And I thought this advertising advertisement was nice. All sets. I don't know about all the new 2012 sets. Nice chunk of the 2012 sets. And the minifigures, if you get all those sets right there, that you will get. So that's the manual. And here is the TIE Fighter and the minifigures. This is the Imperial Officer. And nice gray uniform. A very nice hat. You can see the type of hat it is from the angle there. I'll take it off. Kind of with the flat pushed in front like that. There's his face. Badge there. And his back printing. Imperial officer. Uh, TIE fighter pilot. Uh, excellent uh, pilot. It's like the one you get with the little Death Star um, planet set. Printed face under the helmet. The printing on his chest and no back printing, but there is printing on his face now if you take his helmet off. Stars are on the helmet. And the canister is the same, but what's different is this top piece. It's squared on, uh, squared up, kind of, like the top of a coat can, kind of, tapers in. And nice detail on it. The paint is uh, shimmer, shimmer type gold on there. And here is the Death Star Trooper. Very nice. I like the helmet very much. I like this figure a lot. And this is what he looks like from the front. It's very stern and mean. And his alternate face, switch that around. Looks great with his helmet on. Uh, on. Like that. Oops, let's get in focus, please. There we go. Death Star Trooper. He is one very good looking mini Here figure. is the uh, TIE Fighter. It's very nice. It's very big and big. And in the center, we have the, you know, cockpit. And this window, bulbular window here, is nice and printed, including that piece on the top there. This dish is also printed. And under there, you some missiles. And those flick fire by pressing out from back here behind it. Do the next one. And these are the red globes on top. If we lift the cockpit, there's more than one way you can do it. So, first way, you lift just here. And it opens it like that. And reveals a little area in there, the cockpit with the chair. And if you lift again, you have even yet another lift. So, like this. So, really opens it up. You have a little screen thing with a trans red uh, vent, and that can, you know, be adjusted because it's on a bar. So you can put the pilot in. There's the pilot, and when you close the cockpit, you have a flap here that comes is the roof. That's down, and now the front window. There we go. And the pilot is in there. Very uh, good looking uh, angles on this. If you notice here, the way those points are all coming together is nice. Nice architecture or detail, whatever you call it, on the outer parts of this. And you get a good view of the you know, wing panel. High gloss black, it's surrounded with uh, gray uh, frames that you put together that interlock. 
It's got like these pieces that strut out. There it is. But yeah, that is the TIE Fighter. Here is the back view. Done really nice with the tapering circles down. Gives it the illusion. It's like, uh, you know, rounded. So very good. Um, in all aspects, if you ask me, design, uh, stability, uh, minifigures, it's all a great set. I ordered this off Lego online. Um, and if you go to Toys R Us, it seems like they're, you know, doesn't seem like it. They're more expensive. So, I just prefer to shop on Lego, honestly. If everyone wonders where I get my things, it's usually Lego. It's never usually Toys R Us or Walmart or something, because I like getting VIP points, and when you order from Lego, you earn VIP points on everything you purchase. So, you in turn earn money back. I, I believe I have over, like, um, $50 sitting in my VIP account right now that I've just earned from ordering Lego sets. So, um, if, I, if you're going to be ordering Lego and getting Lego on a regular basis, it makes sense to only order from Lego or go Lego shop and use your VIP card. So, that's a bit of advice to Lego buyers and collectors if you don't already do that. Just thought I'd throw that out there. It's a way to get stuff back just from Lego as a gift, just from purchasing from them. So. And it builds up on you. Save it, and then you get like a whole set for free, in a sense. So, hope you've enjoyed my video review of the TIE Fighter 2012 set. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe. Bye. And remember, please uh, pay attention to the shoutouts that I did shout out in the beginning, and please subscribe them for amazing LEGO videos. Thank you.